What was that starter for this? Is it Time and City again? Three, yeah, oh, it's PS2. Two, one, go! Already, Dill, main plant, get gyro. Not only is it really good for zero to deathing at these low percents, but it also um, is so good to have in hand because it completely can stop an aura sphere coming out. Nothing that would be too relevant, though. Actually, if he gains some percent tagged on, that aura sphere is going to be getting bigger and bigger if he lives. I like the back air attempt. All right, here comes some. <laughs> 91% on BB. This is it's an awkward range if you're Dill. You know, like, what do you have that's really going to kill right here? Oh, up tilt to upper maybe would have done it, but BB was anticipating that. Got that counter for even extra damage, and now Dill pressed at the ledge. Those back airs are looking more terrifying than they've ever been. Oh. And, oh. and that's where the counter mechanics become so good for Lucario is when you have this aura, because normally that'd be a pretty weak counter on any other character, but it doesn't matter what hit him. Just gonna use that aura powered counter to close it out. Still so clutch to be able to find that kill right there. Could have definitely made the game run out of hand. Yeah, I, th I think actually that was punching the spot dodge. So just great recognition of Evie's panic option in that instance. And it seems like almost DV just pays this tax of 70% every stock. Oh, didn't get the hit of that gyro. That would have been it if Dill had time to charge an F smash off the gyro hit. Yeah, as a result, though, Lucario is alive, 92%. This is, once again, that kind of awkward range of your Rob, where there isn't too much you have that can actually lead into a kill. And if you just, you know, keep getting damage and damage and damage, well, then you have a max or rage of Lucario that you have to face down. And uh, Dill right there trying to grab Eevee's uh, Nair. That Nair is ridiculously safe, especially with some aura. Even without aura, it's like only minus two or think or something. It's it's very safe. Cannot grab that. Um, Dill's got to be super aware of that. And Eevee took that stock. That back air was just huge. And before we saw that, you know, Dill even things up very quickly. But this time around, it's looking like Eevee's playing a bit more carefully. Can he get any type of lead going? No, wow. he cannot. Both these stocks have been almost identical. It's BB takes 70%, manages to clutch out the first stock, then Dill clutches out immediately with side B times two. Uh, <laughs> let's see if it will be a different story this third stock. Hopefully for Dill it is. That being said, BB now is yeah. the one paying the, uh, making Dill pay the tax, taking a quick 50. Yeah, we haven't really been seeing, I was about to say, we haven't really been seeing any launched Aura Spheres so much. Uh, but instead, you do have BB using it, the wave bouncing, the B reversing in order to add the movement option to navigate around all of these hitboxes, these projectiles that Dill is attempting to throw out. Oh, great job shielding right there. Seeing that the gyro would have been an absolute disaster, just nipping at his heels. Again, these, these, we've seen a lot of counters from Vivi, and all of these counters pretty much have worked. It only takes one failed counter to actually possibly die, though. Oh, mess up the DI and you're dead, or maybe not that high up. Dill with the quick double jump to get as much height as you can on that up air. Really clutch uh, to be able to, I mean, that was like... Dill cannot really get like a really early kill her first two stocks against VV. So to find finally a clutch that was only 87% I believe when he got hit by that up air. So huge. Stop the <laughs> Is it gonna kill? No. Oh, no. It kill. <laughs> All right. That's the first game that Dill has managed to take it against Vivi tonight so far. Yeah, let's see if Vivi's gonna clutch it up or if we're gonna have to see a new set. All right. Decent back and forth right now, though. Vivi, though. Oh, man. 66%. Ooh, that could have been bad. Yeah, missed the jump, I think, on that side B, or maybe thought it would not send high enough to where you didn't need to jump. Instead, she almost immediately retaliating with 60 of his own with just a few moves. Even with only like 60% aura, Lucario becomes so much better of a character. Alright, yeah, both of them. They're just kind of sitting in the orange, you know. 
it's kind of an awkward place for both of them to be where... I, okay, you see Vivi's looking for ways to actually get a kill in. Wow! That, that gyro was like, I got you. I'm gonna wait a second. <laughs> and Dill managed to clutch it out. Now, finally taking the first stock of the set. Now, can you hold the lead? So, I actually, I think that it's gonna be a lot easier for Rob to hold the lead than, uh... Yeah. Lucario would Lucario. be... Almost needs to take at least like 41% to get the kill moves back going, which is such a rough disadvantage for the character. Ooh, or that backer. That, that was so smart. Hovered at the. Basically got to the point where double jump backer would no longer even reach her. Okay, and now Vivi has paid the tax 80%, and now we can finally start killing. And you yeah. did. <laughs> yeah, and there it is. But 88%. With zero on Dill, if Dill's able to maintain that sort of just careful, damaging pressure, then within a short bit of time, Vivi might just be at death percent from, you know, more Rob's errant moves. We'll see, though. Yeah, or Vivi could get, like, just one more string right now could be close to evening this game up. This is the problem, you know, even if Lucario does need to take 80 to close the stock back out, he's then at 80 and can start getting his combos going right away on your new stock. Truly is a damned if you do, damned if you don't. Oh my god. Right now though, still way up high. I like that as a landing mix-up. But Vivi finally getting that dash attack. Another bit of stage control. Can you do anything with it? No, Dill's landing option just been a little bit too clever. Wow. That's not enough to kill. Surprise with that much aura did not kill. All right, good dash attack, putting him off stage. Okay, went for that side B. I know exactly what Dill was looking for, but there was a big cost to it. Putting him, putting him. Yeah, that dash attack buff uh, right there, coming in clutch for VB. Will it close it out? And now, I mean, this is exactly what VB wants. If Dill can't get that side B that you got the first two games, it will be a very different story with this much aura. Ooh, I like that attempt. Yeah, and the gyro control. 22%. Oh man, Forder actually does nasty Ooh. amounts of damage right now. So clean to get that late Nair combo into the dash attack. Oh my god. god. Sure, that's game. <laughs> well, can we get a replay what percent what Dill was at before getting hit by that Aura Sphere? Uh, 63. Oh my lord. 63 on Rob of all that. I mean, that's kind of vengeance for game one. <laughs> Because if you remember, and then yeah, on that yeah. exact on same, same platform, platform. like almost, something equivalent actually kind of happened. Yeah, so um, Karma coming back, making Dill die at 67 as Rob. And this could potentially be the tournament right here for Vivi. I feel like um, it's, you know, he avoided the kill moves better this time around. And that was yeah. a big thing, you know. Quick question. Who won last week? I am with not John won last week. Okay. So here it is. This could possibly be the last match of the entire tournament. These two titans have been duking it out. Such a back and forth in these last few games, though. I really have no idea what to expect. Don't know what the direction of this last game for uh, at least this first set is going to, whether it's going to show for us. Okay. I feel like it almost feels like these percent ranges don't matter that much. You know, one of them's gonna get hit and one of them then activate hitting the other to where they're both at kill percent. I slightly disagree because it's the sort of thing where if Vivi's able to do a bunch of early damage like this, that means that now Dill is at death percent once he gets Vivi to 90 as opposed to 120. Mm -hmm. That's very true, yeah. Ooh, great Ooh. recovery win over all of that. Okay. Oh, and there's the counter again. That time, not enough, quite enough to kill, though. Yeah. The fact that Dill is alive, that means everything right now. Only 93 aura and not that much, relatively speaking. 
But 99 is enough with the percent views managing to tack on. And now, some good aura. Get a combo going. Get a big lead generating for VV. That's going to be the big question. Dill's really going to need to like find a hard read to close out the stock. Oh, she really wanted that hard read. That up smash actually cost her pretty dearly 36% off of that one whip. And there's oh. another up smash. Eats another 30 plus percent. Oh, eats a no, death no, for it? No. Oh, my. You can't force the issue against Lucario. I think VV was very content with just holding shield right there, knowing that Dill was kind of throwing out some smash attacks. Yeah, literally, Dill died because she up smashed twice in that last stop. Yeah, that's, you cannot mess with Lucario with Aura. Just the oldest rule of all time. And this could this be a three stock to close out Zeno. The way VV is looking oh, and with yeah. this much percent on Dill, this is very much death percent with the 170. 180 aura, 188 you aura. <laughs> You've only given him a maximum power. Okay. Okay. <laughs> nah, DI didn't. Good. Yeah, it's die faster so the clock doesn't run out. Exactly. Genius stuff from BB. <laughs> Wait a minute. Now, no, but no, now you have a worse chance of timing. Oh, uh, yeah. Idiotic stuff from BB. <laughs> oh, no. Still really needed that to, like, kind of close this huge gap. That being said, not too, Lucario's not too much of a threat right now, so I definitely think Dill is like in the right for just trying to... I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, forward smash is still the threat. Forward smash is definitely, even without Aura, extremely strong. Oh so is that God. back air. I, I feel like Dill was like, I'm not that threatened by you, and that's why she got hit by like five moves in that one. Oh, that was such clean like input right there. Uh, I Knowing that Dill was going to stay stationary after Ooh. that uh, F-Smash was able to get the Ors here. And oh no. The very last frames. That's going to do it though. Oof. What a dominating game three. Once VV got that lead, it was the first time we've seen like a super big classic Lucario running away with the yeah. lead situation. Dill trying to force the issue. And wow, only need 50% aura with like the stock lead. But with 151% on Dill was enough to take it. Great stuff coming out from Vivi. Gonna get a Xeno in. Starting to get more and more of those under his belt. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely cementing himself as one of the best players here in the New York region. And I'm really excited to see how everybody who you know, came here, a lot of them are also going to be at Collision. Seeing how they're going to uh, shape up at such a stacked tournament. I think it's a really nice preview. And Vivi is a player that hasn't really gotten that much notoriety outside of New York yet. So... This weekend, I am really excited to see if he can take the names oh, to yes. put himself on the map. And if you believe in Vivi getting some big upsets at Collision, finally getting that really good major performance I know he's been wanting, have a nice place for you, Macherino. If you believe in the kid from New York, Lucario Master. Thank you, Duramgar. Yes, there's some gamers right here. Uh, <laughs> yeah! yeah. yeah. Uh, hope you're having a good night, Dara. But that being said, we're going to be closing it out right here. Uh, that was yeah. a really good top eight, though. Oh, yeah, no, lots of lots of comebacks, too. There yeah. were so many points where we thought somebody was just completely out of it, and then they made game the threes. run back. A lot of game threes, Did yeah. Did not want me to eat. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm... They did not want me to get home early for They're school. just like, you, you got to lose, <laughs> lose some weight, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I really need to. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... That being said, thank you everyone for watching. Uh, Matcherino, if you haven't, and that's gonna be it from us. Yeah. I think actually we have to wait One just second. a second. Now. <laughs>